Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the genesis of it. Maru, this modesta, she had no problem with Marwa. She, she had no problem when Maru was struggling, when Maru was trying to make ends meet. Now she has a problem when Marwa is receiving these donations. That's the genesis of it. That's where hate began. They are just mad that they are not the ones getting these donations. Hmm? And Africa is like that. Hate against each other when you are succeeding is real. And there is a reason for everything. I always say that. There is a reason why God does things the way he does. There is a reason why Marwa is receiving, is the one receiving those donations and not Modesta. Ask yourself that question. If Modesta, they are, they are angels like they want to portray, why are they not the ones getting these donations? Why is it that Marwa is the one getting these donations? Because these people are selfish. There is nothing they will give those those people who needed help. That's the reason why they are not getting this. Let me tell you something else you do not understand. Marwa is very scared here in her coming to Africa because of the constant hate. When you start succeeding in Africa, you start becoming scared because so many people here hate it when you're making progress. And it's there in your light. You can already see the hit. It is not possible to negatively portray someone day in, day out. Even if they made a mistake once or two, portraying that person negatively all the time. And we are not perfect. I myself am not perfect. And of course, I'm not stupid. I know there are good things that Marwa has done. And there are also bad things that he have done. But focusing on the negative side throughout is pointless. And of course, if he does something wrong, you gotta tell, no, here, you did something wrong, you need to correct the end of the story. If he did something good, I am going to comment on him. That's the way it is. But all the time, you're constantly on his neck. You're malicious. You are a malicious person. And those cohorts that are supporting Modesta, it's time to open your eyes and see where the hate is. Now, we told her, we as the small creators community, we humbly told her, no, let's be let's be fair at times. Your channel cannot be built on the basis of hate. Let's be fair. Let's be real. Be fair on this guy. Another lady came. She's called Betty AZ. She doesn't even do reaction. She told her in a very soft way, be fair. Hey, 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 hey. The kind of insults that she started putting through. She started calling us, oh, you're stupid. Uh, you're miserable. For calling you to be fair, you're calling us miserable, you're calling us stupid, and we, we had nothing against you. You're also involving your kids that we mentioned your kids. Where did we mention your kids? Go and look in our videos. Anybody who's making videos about Modesta, go and go and look at, at our videos and see where we have mentioned her kids. I have not seen any reactor, any single reactor who is reacting on your videos mentioning your kids. So why are you trying to make us look bad for telling you to be fair? You're even including Betty Ez and he calling her names. You're even going into her past. I mean, that's the kind of the kind of energy of hate you have. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's not going to be good for you. Hmm? Let go of the hate. It's not fair. You're calling us miserable. I see. We, we, we want you to. We, they want me to mention them in our. We don't want you to mention you in your channel. We are not interested. You're also directing God to come and punish us. For telling you to be fair. Oh, yo, you're very wrong. God does not live in your village. God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. He doesn't live in your village alone. And he, whether you like it or not, he's going to bless us. And our channel is going to blossom. We don't need to, we don't need you to mention us. We don't want you, needless to say, to mention us anywhere. We are just telling you in a very good way. Be fair. Calling us nincompoms and stupid and miserable. We not help you. We do not get you anywhere. Making us look bad that we mentioned your kids. So that, our, so that your, your, your fans can see us as evil people. We are not evil. We are not evil. We are putting things the way they are. Africans, let's stop hating on each other. You are the kind of people that I say shut up when they start mentioning about racism. Not racism, but you are there tearing your own down. Your own African person down. That's the level of hate. It is not fair. It's not fair, B. Then there's also another thing I also want to mention. Now, if there's any white person watching me or watches this video, ah, we, lo we love white people. We love you, white people. We've just seen Modesta applauding a white girl, a white lady, 
but there are also Africans, some few Africans in Africa who applauded her, but she never bothered mentioning her, you know, because they are too local. She just want people from America. She does not even want people from her own village to mention her or praise her. She just wants people from America and they must be white. That's how we Africans love the white people. You see? Huh? I don't lie. It happens. It happens here. It's easier for a white person to come to Africa and start making videos and start walking around with camera and everyone will be will be wanting to be part of that camera. But if our if a black person like me does the same thing, it's not going to be good so good. You've just seen with Monesta, a, 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 an African person who praised him, who praised her, sorry, but she didn't even bother with that person. She didn't even bother mentioning that person because apparently she will promote her channel and she does not want to promote people from Africa have channel. But she's there promoting someone with the same subscribers because apparently she's from America and she's white. We see that. But it's the, it's the love that we have for you. We're still praising you. Huh? Imagine every day you wake up, someone is talking about your family, someone is mentioning bad about your mother someone is mentioning bad or has something bad to say about your sister it's day in day out every day you wake up that's the story in your own country you're all over the news how successful you are how successful you've become and you know the situation in your country how people can be, become so jealous when they see success do you think that Marwa is okay he's terrified he's scared that's the way it is yeah? he's very scared <laughs> So before you judge, put yourself in another person's shoes. Ask yourself, how could this person, how can this person cope up? How is this person able to cope up? That's why sometimes we decide to be positive. I have put myself in this girl's shoes. I trust me, I don't want to be ever in this girl's shoes because it's so difficult. No matter what you do, because you've become success, because you have progressed in life, no matter what you do, you will always attract a lot of enemies, especially in Africa. Your life will always be in danger. Someone is always trying to destroy you. It is very terrifying. <laughs>